Yo, why does the sound keep disappearing every single time they in the middle of that shit? Huh? Is this an elevator? Oh, fucking God. My first class trial. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Shut up, Keo. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. Should have went before we went on the elevator. Go ahead. Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? What talk? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening, I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. Boy, the class trial is finally starting. Finally, a game that actually feels like a game. Just as the prophecy foretold. Listen up, from here on, things are going to get so violent you'll wish you could turn back. That's not true. There won't be any gory or violent scenes, I'm positive. Oh, jeez. Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Psycho Pop! Of course! Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. The worst of the worst! <laughs> worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. <laughs> Doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you as long as you're having fun. I see. Wow, this is so sickening. It's almost refreshing, so how do we get this game going? Well, now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. That's why we're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rontaro. This killer is in this room with us. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. So we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. Let's see. Okay, this is what. Okay. Cool. I only got eight point. Okay, but I got twenty two slot. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it, give me that. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. I didn't know that was a thing. Now let's get this crazy awesome crazy. Oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like forever. Oh, so you have experience with trials? You lying. Yeah, <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. Why the fuck you lying? So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? First, let's breathe in. And breathe out. We need to remember our no-no-no's. What? No 
pushing, no running, no talking. What is you on about? Communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Well, here we go. That's what can get ahead of us. You trying to start some shit? Calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. Bitch! I'll begin the conversation then. There's something... I found curious. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? That goes back to the shit that I said about the video. Then Monokuma's the culprit. The doy. Because this whole class trial was... No, nope, because that goes against the rule. Monokuma's not allowed to uh, directly kill anybody. Oh, yeah! Easy peasy. I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Nope. Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys! Exactly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? Was that? <gasps> you never heard of him. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. It's Keyboy over here. Everyone else thinks so too. Who the hell expects? Really Ke think that? Suspects Kibo, son. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. All right, let's do this. We can find the mastermind and work together. When this class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. I don't know about all that. And now, oh shit, here we go. So I can focus and slow it down with the right bumper rate. Rantaro's body was found. Just before the time limit, right? Uh... Yes. He was killed in the library. Yes. Rantaro was alone in the library. Yes. could have snuck up on him. He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. Okay. I don't see anything that helps me. Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. What? The one of those state. That last one. If I remember the right evidence, I can blow away that contradiction. Rantaro's body was found. Hold up. Hold up, time out. What was in his belongings? He had a key to his dorm and a monopad. Did I have anything that looked like a car. Is that what? Okay. I don't have the. Wait. Do I not have the ability to speed it up? That means Rantaro. Oh, yep. Got it. I was like, nigga, I was like, son, he wasn't the mastermind, yo. I was like, fuck out of here. I was like, the fact that he didn't have the car key shows that he wasn't the mastermind. Huh? Why? Yo, car. 
didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. That's the reason why I said Kaido's gonna be one of those people who's gonna be really stupid in the trials and isn't gonna contribute crap. Along with her and along with uh Gonta. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. I don't even know why we even had to go through that. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. They just try to ease me into this and make me feel myself real quick. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? <clears throat> Maybe the mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? Oh, shit. He knew Rantaro to the library and kill him. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Hmm. That does seem plausible. It's very likely the mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kaidian and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. No, you don't. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Red flag. <laughs> Wow, looks like you're determined to face even a cold, hard truth. And here it comes, the cold, hard truth. Huh? Oh, here comes another lie from this nigga. What? Why are you surprised? Because if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date. I don't know, the first one from the first game was pretty easy. Are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yup. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's traps, right? No shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. Yo, quit talking in circles, yo. It's you! What? How? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? True. This is making logic. Whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. This was the only time someone no if they had me dispute this i could say yo she didn't know anything about where they actually set up the cameras what, what the hell brought this on all of a sudden I, I just designed the cameras i didn't know they could set up in the library if someone asked me to make cameras i totally ask what they were for how come you never asked what the cameras were for huh Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. That's a lie. If they have us dispute that, yo, that's a lie right there. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. I'm actually remembering details of what she said. Feeling extra sensitive. Like these big boobs of mine. Shut up. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive. Fuck out of here. With someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, aren't you? Yep. Come on! Let me at the hook already. Do you want 
money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male friend. Everyone's starting to suspect me, but is that really okay? From here on out, blue color weak spots will appear. Oh, those are ones that... Doesn't that mean that I can, uh, what's it called? That means I can, uh, consent to it? Uh, the card reader does? You're the culprit, aren't you? Wait, 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 wait. What was, what was his account? Uh, announcement. We're in the dining hall. Me was in the middle of building, middle of building a remote control gadget. Wait. They won't let me scroll, son. I can't even scroll through it to see all the rest of the information on that. I'm pretty sure that's the right account, though. No way! That's not possible! Okay. So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? Yeah. I agree with that. I don't think you went to the basement either. Right, Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mia was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. But didn't she say something earlier that I was like, uh, no, that didn't happen. The thing where she said she got tired from making the camera, so she just passed out. When she also told us, because after she said that, she also told us that she got bored after making that, so she decided to make the drone. And slug? Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. Come on, son. What Gilgamesh level condescension? But which Grey of War are you from? Wow, another reference we don't get. You must be a hardcore loser. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. You mean like two minutes ago? Just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion! Ooh! What? That, that was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. She, she called him an abortion. Yo, just say some bullshit back to her and she gonna start crying too. Hey, I feel a lot better now. Okay, he didn't care like that. Samogi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Samogi went to the restroom. Yeah, that's that's the red flag right there. So you brought that up after all. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Can anybody vouch for that, though? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! Why? Ew! Why? Did you take a fern dump? Or was it a soft one? Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Nope. Cost box. No, no, I don't do disguises. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. The reason why is she got cosplays. Damn. 
all the buttons is us, like not where they should be. Only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Yeah, I guess. Some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. It's so unforgivable that I break out in cosplays if I even attempt it. Yeah, the cosplay was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aww, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. <laughs> Fuck you two! <laughs> Getting back on topic. We now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. Okay. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. No, they can't because they still have to vote. Can they? No. So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Oh, here we go with all of them. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Kimiko, Angie, and Rentaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? Not necessarily. Because they all kind of, I think, didn't we check that all of them have alibis? But of course. What are you laughing? That includes you too. A Scooter Rontaro, one of the six people who headed to the basement. Is the mastermind of the killing game? Oh, she was asking a question. Whatever. Person who's making us endure all these terrible. I said terrible. I'm not Charles Barkley. It would be the quickest method. Wait, please, no torture. My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. Mine too. I'll tell you everything, anything. Just please don't hurt me. Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Why? Just look at her. She can definitely kill someone. Shut up, son. Yo, he always instigating. So stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit. Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentlemen. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Please don't tell me you are praying to a tour. Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's alright, Kylie. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this, right? Listen to everyone's statements. That's right. I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk over each other. So is this new? Kaido? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't thrust the blame onto me! You degenerate males in your thrusting! <laughs> Not a bad thing, If you don't believe me, ask my mom. Wee! I have an alibi! What is your- Shut up! They all just said, I'm not, oh no, all three are talking at once. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into mass panic debate. Okay, this is new. During the mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. Oh, fucking God. 
son, I'm too retarded for this here. But remain calm. It's just like nonstop the beat. You're just hearing triple. God, son, I, I can't do that. Sort through everyone's opinions and find the lies and contradiction and refute them. You can also use view counter if you're confident. Get that a shot. I still don't know how to do this. Sorry to take up your time. Thanks for being a sport about it. Here we go. How much time do I have for this part? Mass panic debate. Start. I. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. All she keeps saying is she has an alibi. Wait. Okay, so what's Maki's account? It sucks that I can't scroll to be able to see the rest of it, though. Unless I can do it with my other controller that's on the ground. No, I can't. Hold up. Time out. Ron Pearl's the only one who left in the middle of it. That's not true. Gonta did. Maki's account at that. Hold up. None of us there. Shit. Now I gotta wait. So yeah, I just need to take Kaido's account and dispute it. I ain't mean to do that. Are you talking about me? This one right here. Yeah. I knew. Even though that was like the only account that came up, so. Someone else who disappeared other than Rentaro? Yeah. Gonta. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and. Hey, wait a sec, idiot! You are. Yes, Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma. Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? <laughs> oh, come on! How is looking at Bug supposed to put you in a fighting mood? Real talk. A terrible idea. Like putting ketchup on a hot dog. Nigga, what? But why did you lock the door? Cause Gonta need focus. <clears throat> he lying. He was watching them porn movies that was in there. Everyone suspect Gonta. Why? He wasn't watching no bug movies. Focus. He was watching them porn movies that was in there. Oh, Gonta just need alibi. Okay, Gonta will get Alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. <laughs> where this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. What will you do? Without an Alibi, we'll all choose you. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. Yep. But Gonta not sure where to start. Yeah, you already said Gonta dumb. You if you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try. For everyone's sake. is getting loud and heated but if I just focus on everyone's voice then hopefully we can expose the mastermind oh here we go ah. now stop the day I are not culprit because to leave a V room Ota must walk through game room where friends are Hold up. Reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, 
You can't go to the library. Maybe okay. he's got more than one entrance, though. I should have been a door in the hallway, too. There's the hallway, too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? So that's not going to be it, then. That sliding door. I'm not hitting sliding door with sliding door. I'm not that retarded. Um is not settled going to not culprit Yeah, I don't You don't have gone to the library from the AV room without anybody noticing. I just remember I'm gonna have that do that stupid closing statement junk and that junk's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Going to the library from the AV room without anybody noticing. From the library to the AV room without anybody noticing. Could he really have done it? I don't know what I'm supposed to throw at this. If you can't get to the hallway. No, I ain't want to do all that. You can the library. How? And kill Vantaro. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Well, oh shit. Yo, that just scared the fuck out of me. I ain't even see what. It... Oh, it was a raid word. That jump scared the hell out of me. I don't know. I know I'm the one who put that jump on too. Yo, that jump scared the hell out of me, son. Could he really have done it? Going to not culprit. Cause to leave AV room. I don't. I want to fail this, yo. I'm too stupid for this. If you can't get to the hallway. I feel like it has to be the sliding door, but no. Hold up, how the hell do I bring up the baby? No, I ain't want to do all that. Hold up, what does Ron Thoreau's belongings have to run? Belong? I had a key to his dorm room and a model pad. Now I have, okay, we already been through that. That has nothing to do with anything. The sliding door. I can't read the rest of that, yo, because they won't let me scroll down, yo, so. Poorly made and only opens wide enough to slip an arm through. Be difficult for a person to enter that. Yeah, what up, Rex? Wouldn't it have to be a sliding door? I don't care, yo. I'm hit sliding door, sliding door, because I can't. For real? That may I'm gonna hit sliding door with the sliding door, yo. And they're like, yeah, man, that's wrong, yo. Because with that sliding door, you can't hit the sliding door with the sliding door. I'm like, whatever. It's the only reason why I ain't shoot it before. You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Who says that? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Pretty much. Hey, hold up. It's like you got a, who, it's like you got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that will be able to go through is your arm. Son, I'm already calling what happened. Like from what I read on Wiki, I'm pretty sure I know who did it. If I read it right, because this was like months ago. But. From what I saw when I was investigating this, my theory is somebody took a shot put ball, tossed it through the crack in that sliding door, and tossed it past the sliding door from the other side of the library, and cracked dude in the back of the head and killed him. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So, I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. 
your entire existence is a mistake. Yo, they be going on each other so bad, yo. Like, earlier, yo, she called this dude an abortion, son. I was like, son. Vicious little... If Gonta couldn't use this... They start crying every single time they get on each other, too, son. You'd have to go through the game room. But I didn't see him at all. Gonta tell you he not culprit. No. We cannot confirm that just yet. Eh? True. That's what I was saying. My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but... Yeah. Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. Only one person died so far. Gonta could still be the... And even though they said, yo, they don't need to do the... Ca they didn't need to do the class trial. Uh, Mana, when, uh, everybody saw the dead body, they asked the culprit who killed the person, just raise your hand if you committed the murder and you can go scot-free and nobody raised their hand, so now they doing the class trial. There's the possibility going to kill Rantaro from the AV. Basically, a bunch of high school students are stuck in a school, and then they're forced to play a killing game where they have to try to kill each other one by one. And they get to go free as long as uh, during the class trial. Nobody. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. I don't know. Uh -huh. I didn't know that was a possibility. Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also. He did not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Yeah. Wait, then how did Gonta kill him? With the same thing I surmised from what I saw. He tossed the, uh, what's it called from him from the AV room? Hmm. It's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. That may be explained to these demos. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. But um, how though? Yeah, like I already saw it without any type of diagram. Basically, I can't even point to it. Yo, I wish I had like a full body thing so I could just get up and point to it like I'm a weatherman or something. Hmm. Eh, sometimes you just gotta go to the store. I hate walking to the store though. I did it back in the day. Yeah, but when I was originally in the room, yo, I was able to tell all the way up there where the AV room is, where the red, where the red door is, you can't, because they explain like, yo, you can only fit something like the size of a baseball through that door because it won't open all the way. So, the thing that they trying to say is that Gonta has the strength to toss the, uh, cause he got, uh, homeboy got killed with a shot put ball. And he has the strength to toss a, yeah, the shot put ball through that red door, through the other red door, and hit him all the way on the other side. In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be open. Yup. Uh, wait a second. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot get your full body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. This would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. The shot put ball particular item in the AV room. Wait. Hold on, what? I ain't know none of this was going to be part of it. You ain't talking about the speaker, right? I don't know how to bring up the question. Open up. Nigga, I got 17 seconds. Oh no. We ain't go through this. Up the 
Son, I didn't even know I clicked on the sofa. I didn't know how to select nothing. I was just pressing correct. Possible open the door to item. Question was swimming. Everyone staring at me. You think listen, damn. Okay. Good thing I got that. Uh, the speaker. No. With a thin rod, you could reach through the sliding door and open the rear door. Is something that convenient readily available though? I remember now. Thank you. I'm talking about the screen. I get it. Yeah. I forgot all about that whole detail that they went through. Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pole if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. If you use the roll up screen to reach the library's rear door, then you can open it. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Dante. Now I see a big problem. Because when that dude was killed, the secret hidden bookshelf in the library was open. And I'm pretty sure it slides out like this, which would have obstructed the view from him get Okay. Yeah, no problem for go time. Yep. I'm mad he agreed with that. How okay. Yeah, it's motion sensor. Pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off when someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AD room to the library. He technically wouldn't have to. He killed Rantaro when he was still in the AD room. If Gonta killed Rantaro in the library, Oh, he was still in the AV room then. So does that mean going to threw the shot put ball? Yes. Wait, wait, I say. Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Couldn't fit through the space. A shot put ball certainly would. <clears throat> so I figured that out like I don't know how long ago. Yo, can I turn this music down? Yo, this show is loud, son. I can't hear nothing they saying. Okay. So let me turn it down to like right there. Yeah, maybe turn that shit up to like right there. Maybe I can actually hear him now. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. That's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Yeah, but Gonta has super strength, remember? Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. True. Yep. A walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. Well, Gonta, can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? He gonna answer honestly and yes, say yes. Probably. Mm-hmm. You're too honest, Gonta. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. Uh. Wait! 
going to never hurt anyone, not even insect. Going to telling truth. Gentlemen never tell lies. Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. If everyone's wrong, we'll never find the mastermind and you'll all die. I can't let that happen. I need to do my best to guide everyone to the right answer. Oh, shit. God damn it. I hate this. This is like the worst edition that they made in this. Yo. It was like... Wait, no, this ain't the junk one. Three so people talking. Okay, cool. Going to not culprit. Honest. A typical deject. Mm -hmm. Red mail excuse. Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. I will say the moving bookcase. There are no obstacles in the way. There you go. That was easy. No, that's wrong. I was like something because while we was going through it, I was like something. The moving bookcase would get in the way, yo, if you tried to throw the shot football through there. It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room. Because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. Obstacle. The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. Wait, what the fuck? What, Monokuma file? No, that's not it. Is this meant to be evidence? I haven't the slightest clue what your point is. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to be getting? What's the bookcase? No. Set this to the library, the bookcase is still wide open. Shuichi merely asserted that just now. I would like you to prove it. Oh. What you mean prove it, yo? They, this is the same game that told me to, uh, front entrance photos. Oh yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking real hard about that one. It's in this picture. Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. If it's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. Uh, sorry. I'm stupid. I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. Yeah. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. No, Gonta understand. Cause we gotta find culprit. Well said! For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap! Why's that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Yeah. Are you oh, here we go. I can't stand people having a good time! I'm Jones in relief! I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon! What? It's good that Gunt is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. He still got hit with the shot pull ball. Do we know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball, but where did the culprit get it? The warehouse. I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. 
What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Ah! How do we find this darn culprit now? Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! Eat a dick. We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? Yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the mastermind. Clues? What kind of clues? True. Like, if Rantaro was deceived by the mastermind and went to the library, Maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But... Are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Yeah, that's the thing that I was talking about. Yeah, I think so. Why? What you mean you think so? Then, what the two had just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Huh? I didn't hear anything. Ah, oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. Then I will speak on Atua's behalf, as his prophet. Oh, here comes the stupid crap when I said I don't want to listen to nothing you have to say during any of these trials. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. How? What? Are you serious? There's a way to do that? Super mm. serious, brother. Don't listen to her. Number two, it sounds like a shady weirdo. A way for the culprit to enter the library without getting caught by the cameras. Is that really possible? Atua says... I should continue explaining on his behalf. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Only Atua knows the truth behind this incident! This is gonna be bullshit, ain't it? Okay. Am I gonna consent with her or what? The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Ow. Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras! Son. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! Time out. Okay, car reader dust at that. Fuck that. Yeah, you're stupid. Fuck you. <laughs> Yo. That was quick as hell. I was like, you know what? I just happen to be on the right clue. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge Atua? I don't think the hidden door was ever used. Nope. Because he talked about how, like, he put the dust on the door in a specific way so that there's no way that it could have been used. Looks like the car reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide there. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on a card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. Oh, here we go. What are you possibly arguing about that statement? <laughs> you still got a ways to go. Huh? W what do you mean? His name's Ryoma. That was a Prince of Tennis reference. The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. Son. It seems you've been contradicted. When this sort of thing happens, you'll go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called the rebuttal showdown. You can also V agree if you... So if blah blah blah... Thanks for your time. Okay. 
I don't completely know how I do this. Even if we rule out the hidden door. Wait. I don't know which ones I'm using right now. I'm guessing it's going to be the rare entrance photos. The library. Fuck. It's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed. They could have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro and took off. I just can't listen to Ryoma's argument. I need to refute it somehow. Even if we rule out the hidden door. The library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras Wait, were that's how I gotta do it. They could have been hiding there, you know. Oh, okay. That's how I am. They took out Rantaro and took off. How low am I right now? Okay, not that low. The library's okay. got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could okay. have been hiding there, you know. They took out Rantaro and took off. I advance. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding. Right after killing Rantaro. Then, once the wow. gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we be none the wiser. Wait. We join everyone. No, that's your reasoning. What the hell were the true blades for this one, yo? Uh... Not if they went back into hiding. Right? I didn't mean to do that. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. I don't know how to... God damn it. I don't know how I cut this thing right. Uh, Put up, I need to think it over again. Okay. I'm going to losing off of this bullcrap right here, son. Not if they went back into hiding. We join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. There you go. I'll cut your words. Yeah, I had it right the first time. I just had to angle it the right way. That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door, this is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. Yep, that's why that argument was stupid. Hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Chuichi? Um, hmm? Ah, um, yes. I think that's exactly what he was doing. Is Chuichi okay? He's 
been really quiet. Is he worried about something? So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. Mm hmm It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. How the hell do you become half invisible? Your upper half, to be specific. What? That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. Mm-hmm. I think this is when it would have dawned on me if I didn't know already. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory! Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. That's right. We have evidence that proves that would have been impossible. Okay, what is it? What, this one? No. It has nothing to do with the air vent, probably. I don't know. Okay. So what am I looking for? Just a classroom vent? No. No evidence that anyone used a classroom vent. I was unable to confirm that. How did you arrive at that confused conclusion? Okay. I'm fucking up. Like, really bad. Um. Wait. Son, I don't know. I really have to go through every single one of the. Uh. Time out. I really can't pause this. No, that's not it. Doesn't do anything with the air vents. Okay. It would notify Shuichi. Was this it? No. Fucking God. I'm going to lose it right here from this. I don't even know how far back I got to start from this crap neither, son. Stack books? I get it. Yeah, okay. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprit get in and out of the library? Divine intervention? No. Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library. The front door! Oh my fucking god, we've been through this. Please don't make me go into some stupid thing to argue this, because this is dumb. Um, have you been paying attention? Pretty much. The would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. What are the intervals of the camera shots, though? <laughs> Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Yo, if you think about it, the only person that would actually know the setup intervals of the camera shots within the camera itself is the people person who put them together, which is you. You? What's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. She's the only one that would know about the... Okay, it's obvious she didn't do it. 
Oh my god, she is stupid. What if I redesign the cameras to auto roll the film instead of having to do it manually? That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? <laughs> but I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. Sweet, she did tell her about that. What? Not the 30 second interval. Shuichi? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I guess I forgot to tell you. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I... I didn't realize it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Yeah, that's pretty much a lie. N no, it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. He didn't really believe her. He was trying to set her up the entire time. And yeah, okay. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kaidiot and Fuichi place go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! He just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals! That's what I was saying, that's why I say it was stupid for her to even bring it up. Have an alibi. Remember the dining hall? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? Shuichi. Hmm. Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Shuichi. Mm hmm. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, then. Does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi! Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that. Right, Shuichi? You would better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. Or damns all of you, but okay. Mess up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi. What's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! No way. Shuichi can't be the culprit. That's definitely wrong. There's no way. I refuse to believe Shuichi's the culprit. That's definitely not possible. Is this an intermission time? Yup. And I think for today, that's where I'm going to end it. Ah. No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm done with this game. For the I'm done with Damn. this game. For the Motherfucker. Spirit praising beauty. All I want is a girl with a big ass booty. Please. Oh fuck. We doing this now? Oh! Get your face in my face so I can bust your ass. 
Oh I was like, my son, God. I felt like there was way too much time. And I was like, nigga. I was like, son, I'm at 42. I was like, mess the fuck up, yo. I was like, this nigga. Fuck out of here. Get that blood flow. She said from the tip to the base. <laughs> no, don't find it. You all right. <laughs> Blackout! 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 Blackout!